morning and welcome to the port of Dover. We are headed on another European road trip over to the Nürburgring and specifically the Nürburgring 24 hours. This is my steed for the weekend. My car's got a puncture, um, of which I haven't had time to get fixed, so I have to borrow my dad's car, um, which will be an epic motorway, motorway mile guzzler. Uh, yeah, we're headed over there. My friend Andy Wolf has been running a Ford GT40 in one of the support races to the 24 hours, uh, and everyone's always mentioned that uh, the 24 hours of uh, the Never Ring is something you have to do. Uh, so I'm specifically going there for the Saturday night antics to see the crowds, to see the shelters that they built and join the parties and the barbecues uh, of the Bavarian uh, hills of the uh, Eiffel Mountains. Um, I'm also tying this in with a trip to Spa. Uh, I'm working there on the Monday and Tuesday, coaching there. So um, uh, with the ring only being an hour and a half from Spa, it made sense to pop along and have a look. Uh, I know Porsche are on pole, and they look, they're one, two, three, so they look very, very strong. Uh, Mercedes are fourth, uh, and Audis are a little bit, uh, always are struggling for pace, but you know that the Audis are going to be super reliable uh, over the 24 hour period. So looking forward to attending the race. It's going to be a bit of a race for me to try and get them before the start, so let's see if we can get them. So let's jump on the boat, go, go, go. So we are 10 miles from the Nürburgring now, it's uh, due to arrive at 10 to 3, the race starts at half 3, so hopefully I have enough time to dump the car, like there's not too many big queues, dump the car, get to uh, the Ardenno Bridge and watch the start from there. Uh, looking at the traffic in and around uh, the boulevard and to get to Turn 1, uh, and Brunchen etc, uh, no chance for this at the ground, so uh, we're going to make a break to the bridge and see if we can make a start. Let's go! So a fellow race fan saw me in vain running to get to Brunchen in time. I thought I've not travelled since four o'clock this morning to not make the start. Picked me up in his moped and took me along. So got my ticket, now I'm into uh, the big grand start, well, the big camping area at Brunchen. And I think the warm up lap has just taken place. So yeah, I made it. <laughs> the race before the race. That's what I'm talking about. Not even a small pool, full on container on a trailer I think oh there's a lot of people here as if uh, there's a lot of beer, as much beer as Le Mans, 
But yeah, just the structures and everything, it's really taken up another, another level. These boys go to town. <laughs> passieren kann, hat man immer noch heiße Eisen im Feuer. Es war knapp, wir wurden als zweiter gesammelt, nicht mein Auto, aber eins der Rüdig ist. unsure as to what's happening in the race so far been flicking it out to people's TV feeds that they've got in their um, in their in their awnings etc um, I know that one of the row racing BMs is at the front I know that one of the Falcon Porsche and one of the Grello Porsche is up the front as well so uh, Van Thor in the first stint was in a different lead to everyone else dropped everyone else um, I think they've lost the lead now, but but all three are very close. They look like favourites going into the night. That in the far distance there is the dotting of her straight uh, heading to complete one lap of the Lord's life. I walked from the carousel back to the dotting of her and I'm knackered. I've not eaten since about, I don't even know when, nine o'clock, eight o'clock this morning. So uh, I'm gonna go grab some food and then come back for the night stuff. So that sun will be gone next time you check in. is out well it's not even the top 40 that i can see but that must have had an instant through the night um, and it's the number four mercedes of um, i think probably the number one team um, brit man adam christodoulou is uh, aboard that car so the track is just getting to the point where it's um, inters slicks or inters or wet really uh, the grand prix circuit it's dry but the north life is, is is still very wet so there could be some tyre gambles to be to be paid, uh, which could pay off or not. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. Um, it's about 8, 8 30 ish in the morning now. Um, so they've still got a long way to go. They're into the final third of the race. But um, yeah, so we'll see how this plays out. Let's go catch up and see which cars are still in the race.
24 hours over and done with. About 36 hours after I first spoke to you at Dale, uh, Dale? Calais Port. Dover Port, that's where I got Dale from. Um, yeah, it's all over. Porsche bought it home. Are they officially now kings of the ring? They've got the GT2 uh, lap record and the Nordschleife. The GT3 RS uh, also went sub seven. And uh, now they've got pole and won the 24 hours at the Never Ring as well. So there's not much more for them to take us there, I don't think. Uh, yeah, mega weekend, some really, really exciting stuff planned. That's why we're in both of the uh, hospitality suites. Uh, so yeah, I hope to bring you up to speed uh, on that in the near future. Cannot wait. So yeah, from a foggy Nürburgring, I'm going straight to Spa for two days worth of track day coaching, uh, which I can't wait uh, for. Uh, so it's been nice to tie the two events in. So yeah, stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe for more content like this to come. And please put any su suggestions you have uh, in the comments below. Catch up next time. Ciao, ciao.